In October 2008, a small asteroid exploded over the Nubian Desert. It had been spotted by telescopes days earlier. This was the first instance of an asteroid observed in space before falling to Earth. Researchers rushed to collect the resulting meteorite debris. A new paper reports on this first-ever opportunity to calibrate telescopic observations of an asteroid with laboratory analyses of its fragments. Douglas Rumble of the Carnegie Institution's Geophysical Laboratory is a co-author of the paper. Any number of meteorites uh, are observed as fireballs as they come through the atmosphere, and then people pick them up at the end. But to actually see this thing before it gets to the Earth's atmosphere, and then to follow it in, that's, that's the unique thing. The chemical compositions of asteroids can be studied from Earth by analyzing the spectra of sunlight reflecting from their surfaces. This provides enough information to divide asteroids into broad categories, but does not yield detailed information on their compositions. On the other hand, meteorites recovered on Earth can be analyzed directly for chemical composition. However, researchers generally have no direct information on what type of asteroid they came from. The asteroid was dubbed 2008 TC3. It was first sighted October 6, 2008 by telescopes of the automated Catalina Sky Survey near Tucson, Arizona. Numerous observatories followed its trajectory and took spectrographic measurements before it disappeared into the Earth's shadow. A recovery team searched for meteorites along the projected path in northern Sudan and recovered 47 fragments. One fragment was sent for preliminary analysis to the Carnegie Institution's Geophysical Laboratory. The analysis revealed meteorites unlike anything in meteorite collections up to that point. Carnegie's Andrew Steele studied the meteorite's carbon content, which showed signs that the meteorite had been subjected to very high temperatures. Carbon was extremely cooked. It, it was almost graphite. Uh, just imagine uh, putting your uh, eggs and bacon on it in a pan and letting it cook for several days, and so you just get that black, cindery stuff. Isotopes are varieties of an element with somewhat different weights. Oxygen-16, oxygen-17, and oxygen-18 are isotopes of oxygen that vary in distinct proportions among meteorites depending on their source. Analysis indicates that 2008 TC3 falls into a rare category of meteorites called uriolites. Astronomers do not know the parent body for such meteorites. However, the ability to compare its spectral measurements from space with a laboratory analysis will make it easier to identify such meteorites in the future. It's become clear that oxygen isotopes, that is the three oxygen isotopes, 16, 17, and 18, represent the single most important measurement that can be made in determining the um, parental or family groupings of meteorites. The meteorites came from somewhere. And really the ultimate kind of goal of knowing about meteorites is to know exactly, well, where did it come from? The study appears in the journal Nature. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.